Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As the world evolves and progresses, education has become an essential determinant of health. Here are four things you should know about the effects of education on health. First, a little history. In the year 2000, the leaders gathered at the United Nations headquarters in New York to adopt the United Nations Millennium Declaration and its eight key objectives to be reached by 2015. Their target concerning education was to achieve universal primary education. Although the Millennium Development Goals were not successfully completed, the number of children of primary school age not attending school fell from 102 million to 57 million. Canada also helped with this goal. Children and Youth Strategy was developed to improve the quality of education for youth in and out of school in developing countries. Canada has also provided over $57 million to the Global Partnership for Education, which has improved education in over 46 developing countries. Well, where do we go from here? Syed and Al explains that post-2015 education and development agenda will be supported by the Government of Canada, who believe that education must claim an explicit goal focusing on equity, access, and quality learning. The team concluded that improving the quality of the questions we ask about health disparities, innovative approaches to finding the answers, and finally, translating them into action is what will show a positive global effect on the environment. Attaining a good education is not simply about going to school or going to university. Another important factor is professor-student interactions. Having a strong professor-student interaction encourages student motivation and achievement. According to the University of Ottawa's 2013 Common University Data Ontario database, the average classroom size for a first-year undergraduate student is 101 to 205 students. Coming from high school classrooms with no more than 30 students in a class, students have the tendency to feel overwhelmed during classes, making focusing during lectures difficult. Not only do large classrooms discourage students from resolving lecture content issues, Large classrooms also have the ability to cause unneeded anxiety during lectures. Our group conducted a survey of 147 university students to assess how students feel with their student professor interaction experience in university. Over 50% of students said that smaller classes would allow them to feel more comfortable and it would allow them to interact with professors. Tuition fees in Canada are increasing. Within a 10 year time span, the average student debt increased from $15,200 to $18,000. The cost of post-secondary education in Canada poses a difficult situation for families and students, especially for those with low incomes. Even with a loan to pay for education, the total amount required to pay back upon the completion of university level studies is enormous and places many students in debt as soon as they graduate from their post-secondary education institutions. Meanwhile, Scandinavian countries such as Denmark, Norway, and Sweden have free tuition provided by their nation's governments for citizens who make the decision to continue their education through post-secondary undergraduate studies. Education is linked to other determinants of health, especially unemployment and job security. For example, Canadians with lower levels of literacy have a higher chance of being unemployed and poor, resulting in poor health. With a higher level of education, there's an increase in income security, job security, and job satisfaction. A study involving a comparison between associate degree nurses and bachelor degree nurses was found that overall, older bachelor degree nurses held onto nursing jobs longer and had higher scores on the job satisfaction survey than older association degree nurses. Although education and literacy might not be the sole cause of these correlations, it definitely has an impact on unemployment and job security and on health as a whole. In this video, you learn a brief history of the eight Millennium Development Goals created by the United Nations, and more specifically about education. You learn that an essential factor in education is smaller classroom sizes. You also learn that tuition fees in Canada are increasing, while some countries in the world offer free tuition for post-secondary studies. Finally, you learn that education is linked to other determinants of health, especially unemployment and job security. There is an increase in income security, job security, and job satisfaction with a higher level of education. Improving education is not just a job for one person. Everyone in the community has to work together to help each other enhance the global quality of education. Developing education will not only increase people's knowledge, but it will also bring awareness, improve society as a whole, and improve health.